based on the information we have, we can now decide that a diameter of an implant of 4.3, so regular platform, is the appropriate diameter, as we have 8 plus millimeters in this mesiodistal space. The length of the implant will be 13 millimeters based on that we have more than 15 millimeters of height based on the CT scan, it's 18. Topical anesthetic is used for the surgical site and local anesthetic can either be infiltration as used here or through block anesthetic. Here, local infiltration anesthetic is used in the palate, on the crestal and buccal. The first incision is applied using a number 15 blade going through the crest, then going through the buccal sulcular, to the palatal sulcular, uh, the other adjacent tooth going through the bulk, buccal sulcular, and the palatal sulcular. Very precise and careful incisions are made. Then elevators are utilized to make a full thickness flap elevation, which will show the underlying crestal bone. A surgical guide stand is used, which has an opening for a two millimeter drill with the optimal prosthetic position. The drill is used with 800 RPM and it's guided through the stent into the optimal prosthetic position, which was chosen by a pre-surgical diagnostics. Then an extension is added to the two millimeter drill and it's got into position to the optimal length of 13 millimeter, which is the final depth for the implant which was chosen. The next drill is a narrow platform taper drill, 3.5 by 13, which has got into position to final depth, where you can see here the final depth of this here to be 13 millimeters for the next implant placement. The regular platform taper drill used here is a 13 millimeter which is guided into final position, again at the crest of bone. An instrument to confirm that the bone osteotomy and the bony walls are intact and no perforations or anatomical limitations are there is used. Then the implant is picked up with a long shaft implant driver. The implant is pulled out of its titanium sleeve and then positioned in the osteotomy. The first torque used is 20 newton by centimeter, which will now bring the implant into the position using the 20 newton centimeter. At 20 newton it stopped, and we're increasing the torque to 30 newton and continuing with the positioning of the implant. The final position of the implant can be performed with a manual torque wrench, where in this particular site, this implant achieved 45 Newton, which is an excellent stability, and puts this patient into a different options of loading. The implant positioned at or slightly above the crest of bone. And here she is showing the internal lobe of this 4.3 by 13 facing towards the buckle, surrounded by excellent bone. A radiograph is taken to evaluate the proper placement of the abutment as well as the proper emergence of the restoration. For more education programs, visit the Guide Institute at www.guidedental.com.